Hey, what's up guys? This is Gian of Gadget Pilipinas. Welcome back to the channel. This is uh, the fifth episode of Stream Smart Series with XSplit. This is where we teach you how you can stream your PC and console games using XSplit Game Caster. In our previous episode, we talked about how you can stream your PlayStation 4 games. For this episode, we're going to talk about how you can stream your favorite Nintendo Switch games. But before anything else, I would like to uh, invite you all to click that uh, subscribe button at saka yung aming notification bell because we're giving away something for the month of May. We're giving away a Realme C3. So for those of you who wish to know our previous winners from previous months, you can go and check it out sa community tab namin at saka sa Facebook page where we announce the winners. Anyway, details on how you can win the Realme C3 for the month of May are in the description down below. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is the episode where we teach you how you can stream your Nintendo Switch games with uh, XSplit Game Caster. But before we go to it, I highly encourage you to check the two things that you need to have and one thing that you need to check. First, let's talk about the two bagay that you actually need. In our previous episode, we talked about how you can stream your games using your PlayStation. Now, this is pretty, basically the same thing, but this time in the case of Switch, you will need also a capture card for you to be able to send the video to your PC. Capture cards like the Elgato HD 60S, HD 60S Plus, and the HD 60, and even uh, the uh, Razer Ripsaw HD will do. In our case, we've proven the Razer Ripsaw HD to be very effective. In case you miss it, we had a charity stream with our tech blogger friends in the month of March where we streamed Animal Crossing New Horizon and raised a few awareness about uh, their donation drive. The next things you need to have are two HDMI cables. So you can connect your Nintendo Switch console to your TV and also connect it to your capture card. Now, if you pa nakakabili, I recommend that you get yourself an HDMI cable with premium certification. Um, I, that's better because uh, the quality of your stream will not have any issues with that kind of cable. Now, if you're good with the two things that I mentioned earlier, the next thing you need to do is to check if you have an OG, OG version of uh, the Nintendo Switch. We cannot recommend the Nintendo Switch Lite because you cannot really stream with that because Nintendo locked your ability to use any portable docks with it. And there's no native way, as I mentioned, to stream your games via Nintendo Switch's software. So again, if you don't have a Nintendo Switch na OG or version 2, hindi ka makakapag-stream unless itutok mo yung camera ng smartphone mo doon sa Switch Lite mo and then you can stream from there. Now at this point, we recommend that you go back to our episodes 2 and 3 for you to be able to understand the requirements when streaming your games. If you know already these things, then you might as well check if you have at least the following. A 4th generation Intel Core i5 processor or an AMD alternative, 8 gig of RAM, NVIDIA GTX 970 or AMD RX 5500 XT, 250 MB available storage space, a PC with XSplit Gamecaster and DirectX 10.1 or higher installed, 5 to 8 Mbps upload speed, and of course your Nintendo Switch. Now with those out of the way, let us now set up your stream. First, we need to dock the Switch. We don't recommend using third-party HDMI docks as you might encounter issues with it. Pangalawa, connect mo yung HDMI cable to the HDMI output of your Switch and the other end to the input of your capture card. Third thing you need to do is uh, to connect an HDMI cable from the output of your capture card to the HDMI slot of your TV. Again, this will allow you to watch and play your games without any lags or issues. Of course, we don't want you to rely simply on the XSplit Gamecaster preview because uh, there will be significant delay with that. Fourth, connect your capture card to your PC using the provided USB cable. And from that point on, buksan mo yung iyong XSplit Gamecaster, select your source, and you're good to go. Alam niyo ba na kapag binukas ninyo ang XSplit Gamecaster, automatic nang lalabas doon at automatic yung titingnan kung merong capture card na nakasaksak. Manalaman niya kung may nakasaksak na capture card and uh, that will instantly be the one that will be recommended to you by XSplit Gamecaster. Alright? Simple, di ba? That's it. From that point on, you just have to consider adding a few more things like uh, themes, uh, buttons, um, camera if you wish to. Now you can uh, go back to our episodes 1, then also in episodes 2 and 3 for you to know how to do these things. But that's pretty much it. You're good to go and you are now ready to stream your Nintendo Switch games. 
That's it, guys. So this has been our fifth episode of Stream Smart Cities, where we teach you how you stream your Nintendo Switch games. If you want to know more about this, I highly recommend that you go back to our previous episodes. We covered about how you can stream your PC and PlayStation 4 games. You can go and check it out in the playlist or even in the description down below. I also recommend, no, I don't want to miss this out, guys, to also subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell if you want to know more about the latest trends in technology here in the Philippines. And, and also we're giving away a Realme C3 for the month of May, details of which is in the description down below. Again, this has been Gian of GadgetPilipinas.net. Maraming salamat sa panonood and I'll catch you on the next episode.